Hi there, um, welcome. Today I am going to show you the Burnett B62 airlock. Um, An airlock means that it's going to air thread your lower looper and this particular machine does cover stitching. So a cover stitcher is where you can have three needles or you can have two needles and on the back of your work it does this beautiful cover stitching. So on the top it looks like you've done a triple needle like that and on the back it's all cover stitched. Now cover stitches are totally different than an overlocker, they do not cut anything but they're incredible for joining fabric together but just recently I've been having fun with sewing on fabric and quilting through my quilting um, fabric. So I have got here a layer of cotton fabric, a layer of wadding and a layer of cotton fabric. So I have just put them together with um, my 505 basting spray and I am going to show you how you can make your fabric. So when you sew on the wrong side you will get the cover stitching on the right side and I can have either or. So I'm going to use some threads today where I'm going to do some on the right side and some on the wrong side to show you. So the first thing you're going to do is decide what needles you'd like in. So on these wonderful machines they have a knee control that lifts your foot up and down. They also have a lever here to lift your foot up and down manually. They have a stitch length on the side they have a differential feed on the side and you use a differential feed if your fabric starts wavering. You put out a higher number to stop the wavering. If you want it more fluted you go down a lower number. You have your tensions all set here and four, four, four and four is standard settings and the dot and the dot is standard stitch length and standard setting. Now this opens up, so you just can open up the whole front of your machine. And here you have your tools, you have your tweezers, you have your little brush for cleaning your machine, and you have your wonderful Allen key for changing your needles. And with that um, I have got in my left needle and my middle needle, I'm going to use those two today. And you can see clearly how different the lengths of your needles are when you put them up and that is correct. So that just shows you how different they are. They're all on a different angle. So one, two and three and the third one would be lower. So I'm going to pop that back in and I'm going to show you how the air threader works. So this, I'm going to use purple thread with purple so you can understand that today, make it easier. So I'm going to, you can use any thread you like. I'm just going to use this lovely cotton thread here and I am going to click it into my little bar at the top. There. Yeah. And I, I, use, oops, I use my tweezers for everything. So once that's in there I get my tweezers and I come down here Oh, and I'm going to cut my end of my thread off. So all you have to do, do to use the air threader is leave enough um, thread that will go all the way through the pipes and thread it for you. So this is your balance wheel so it doesn't matter where your balance wheel is you need to flip this little lever across and when you turn your balance wheel it will find the right alignment and close your pipes. This will allow the air to thread your looper. Now this one here is where the looper is going to come to so if you want to watch that and you're quick enough, you'll actually see it. So what happens is you thread it through this little hole here and there's a very clear picture to say that is not an oiling hole. It is only for thread. And you pop your thread just in a little bit and you push this button and it's threaded. It is amazing. Before you close the door, you need to flip this across and you leave your thread where the machine has put it. And that is the miracle of ear threaders. Now you just get your next thread you're going to use. I'm just using up these ones because they're similar colours. And I'm going from here and I'm clicking it in there. 
and this time, now make sure your foot is up when you're threading so that your tensions are open. And this time, I'll just use these so you can see you come around here. This is the green. You come over here. You come into there. And you come into there. So this is your green one. You can put in the middle one if you like. Really doesn't make any difference there. And you thread it from front to back. And tweezers just make all the job easier. Then my left needle, I'm simply coming from here to here and I'm clipping it in and I'm coming down and I'm going in the same place there and there and there and there and there and I'm putting this one in my left needle. And you can do different colours, you can have the same colours, you can have similar colours, oh, cut the end on an angle so it's nice and easy and thread from front to back now this is my colour of my cover stitching so when I sew I'm going to be sewing on this side but this will be my right side okay so you can have a plain colour fabric on the back if you like but if you're doing a quilt you can quilt right through all your fabrics it's wonderful so I can use my knee control, put my foot down and my foot pedal, and I can sew anywhere. So you can draw lines, you can cross hatch, you can do anything you like, but the beauty of this particular machine is there is so much space, so I can actually go all the way out to here if I want to, because I've got all that space, but I'm just going to start here. My thread is underneath, I haven't needed to bring it up, and my stitch length will determine how long I want it. My, my straight stitching, do a couple of stitches, cut the top thread, and away I go. Now I am going to sew anywhere, I'm not going to have a particular design. I can just sew around in a circle. When I get to finish, if I get my tweezers, lift my knee across, put my tweezers underneath my threads and just pull them forward, then it has loosened all my threads and I just pull my work out and cut my threads. So what I've got on here is I have got my two rows of perfect twin needling, but on the back I have got my beautiful, beautiful cover stitch stitch. Now this is why I love it for crafting, because I can actually use both sides, but you can stitch all over your quilt and make an incredible feature on your quilt. This is going to become a bag. So I'm going to do another row of stitching, and I don't need to bring my have my bobbin thread top or bottom, I'm just going to do another row of stitching. So it's very free, so whatever you like. Turn often if you want a nice little circle, a little bit at a time. Put a crossover, a little bit of fancy work. But I think people are underestimating these machines. They're using them to hem up their knit garments, but not using them for crafting. So I think they're brilliant. I'm going to turn it over this time, and I am going to sew with the twin needle, so I've got some twin needling work on the top. So I'm going to have a little bit of cover stitching and a little bit of twin needling. So you can see you can just sew anywhere you like and by having my fabric already stuck on I don't need to worry about pins or anything or clips.
needle up, knee across, pull the threads, and pull your work out. Nice and easy. So now I have got some twin needling on the top of my fabric and I've got some cover stitching. So my purple being the cover stitching and I've got two little mauve threads on this one. Now what happens if I take out one needle? So I am going to take out my right needle. And I'm going to tighten my little screw. There's my thread. And this is my spare thread. I'll just cut this off. You can leave it in there if you like. But I'll cut it off so you can see clearly what I'm doing. And I am just going to do a sample on here. And let's see what we've got. So I've now got one needle in. And I've got my thread in here. So I'm going to stitch down here and see what happens with one needle. Uh, pull my thread forward. Pull it out. And what it's done is it has made a chain stitch. Now it's not very effective because I've only got thin thread. So how about we put a thick thread on it and see what we get. So I'm going to cut this thread and I'm going to put on a, ooh, let's try this. I'm going to put on a thicker thread. How pretty is this one? This is called Wool Llama. I haven't tried the wool thread on here yet. So this will be, you'll be my guinea pigs. Let's see what this looks like. And will it sew through without breaking my thread? Hmm, not sure. So we'll just try it. So Wool Lana. So this is a Madeira product. And it's going to give me a totally different look. So let's just get a scrap of fabric. Layer it up a bit so I've got a bit of thickness. And there's my thread there. And if it breaks, doesn't matter. I'll just thread it back through. But let's see if it does. Make sure that's, oh, <laughs> don't cut off your knot. Excellent, Robin. So tie the two together. And that, and don't cut off your knot this time. Cut down below the knot. There we are. Let's see if it'll sew through. No idea, never done it. You're my guinea pigs. So now I'm going to sew through. Go nice and slow. It's going through, it's going through. Need more fabric. There we are. I like to just carry on sewing when I'm trying something out. I think we've got it. Just sew another little bit. Oh, it's beautiful. So, check this out. I'll just go straight on to here. So now decide which is going to be your right side and which side is going to be your wrong side. I think I like this one. I think this is going to be my right side. Yeah, I like this one. So now, oh, I'm going to sew this way because this is the wrong side. So I'm sewing on the wrong side and the machine is going to do the chain stitching on the right side. So much fun, you're gonna really enjoy using these machines because it changes your perspective of cover stitches. Because everybody thinks it's just for hemming garments, but I watched a Benina blog with the L890 machine, and we there was a pattern to make this gorgeous little clamshell bag. Yep, it's got my threads everywhere. And it is using the cover stitch and the chain stitch. And so I thought, oh, let's have a go at it on all the cover stitch machines we sell 
and with different thick thread. So this is a different thread in the bobbin, in the underneath, sorry. And um, it's come up really, really nice with a bit of cover stitching. So this one's going to be quite different because I've never, ever done the wool lana thread. So this will be really pretty. So stitch it, decide how much stitching you want on your piece of fabric. And remember this is the wrong side. If I did this as the right side, I wouldn't really get, there wouldn't be much point because it would only be doing a straight stitch. So I think doing this way is very, very nice. And you can sew off, it won't hurt. Oh my goodness, I love it. So this is wool lana thread in my on my cover stitch machine as a chain stitch and it looks great. So it's just done a beautiful little chain stitch on there. So you know what? Be creative with these machines. They're not all about just hemming a garment up and stitching a garment together. They are so much more than that, and being creative and making your own fabric like this, I think, is brilliant. So that's just a little tiny insight into the world of cover stitching on a Burnett B64 earlock. And I hope you've enjoyed that, because I tell you what, it is so much fun. So I hope to see you again soon.